Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And uh, Brother Monroe reads the patch notes because Alpha 11 version 80 of the game uh, dropped while I was asleep and hopped on as quick as I can just to tell you about what's coming. Um, I have read through the patch notes, so I'm just going to uh, highlight things, but you, you can pause and, and read the text yourself or uh, there's a link in the description of the video to the blog post, which will be the same as the patch notes. So, exciting stuff. The British get a lot of stuff in this update. They do not, however, get a super battleship, at least not yet. So, hopefully that is also in the works. But for now, we get um, two modern battleships. One which is supposed to represent the King George V class, which is very exciting. Really like that ship. Uh, and we also get one to let us represent... Uh, HMS Vanguard or similar ships, which is very cool. One I wasn't expecting, but I am very happy to see, is a modernised Dreadnought for the British, which they say can represent things, something like the War Spite after a refit. Um, we get the modernised Battlecruiser, which is supposed to represent a refitted hood, um, which was never produced, but there was there were plans. Um, and a Super Battlecruiser, <laughs> which can produce battlecruiser designs that never existed. Now, I have had a quick look at this one. It doesn't let you mount 20-inch guns, sadly. Um, the modern battleship 2, however, does. And so the British do now have access to 20-inch guns. Um, what I, uh, again, was not expecting, but I'm very happy to see, is a large cruiser, um, which is very interesting. So if you want to build something like an Alaska class, but British, then you, you've got access to the large cruiser. Um, and two new heavy cruisers, which is really nice to see. So you can get a bit more um, variety in the heavy cruiser design department. Spain gets a new heavy cruiser and a new small dreadnought. And there's a new armoured cruiser, so that's the um, pre-dreadnought era cruisers uh, for Italy and China, which is very nice. Um... The British now have new gun models for their late game techs, specifically their Mark V guns, their main guns, can fit a 2 inch gun on top of them. So yes, you can have guns on top of guns, and I'm all for it. Amazing, yes. Mwah. <laughs> uh, Spain gets uh, new uh, gun looks. The French now have access to a 13 inch quadruple main gun, which is interesting, so that's uh, the smallest quad gun uh, you can get. Everyone else gets 14-inch quad guns at the minimum. Uh, they also get quadruple secondary guns, although really it's two doubles st st duct taped together, because France. Um, gun scales have been changed. Um, one thing I have noticed with the new British hulls is the towers are kind of shared between them, and they don't so the tower for the modern battleship 2 doesn't quite fit on the battleship 1 and things like that. But I'm sure there'll be a hotfix that fixes those sorts of things. It, it does fit. Like, you can put it, place the model down, but it kind of, like, peeks over the, over the side of the ship. Um, fixed a bug which causes the AI to <laughs> have unoccupied or very small guns on barbettes. Yay! Um, I, thought, I thought they'd already tried to fix that. But, yeah, well, I've definitely been seeing this one, so that's good. Um, new feature that stops you placing secondary towers or, fu or funnels in front of the main tower. I'd actually never seen the AI do that, but um, it's good that that's been fixed up. Um, increase the flexibility of mount types. What this means is they put more mounting points in. So you could always do this trick they're talking about by holding down control um, to place things anywhere, but uh, there are basically more mounting points now, which hopefully means we can have a little bit more creativity and nonsense with the designs. Armour and bulkheads have been rebalanced, so uh, heavily armoured ships with maximum bulkheads are going to have a lot more displacement given over to um, given over to that, which is good. Um, I think maximum bulkheads was kind of an auto-include. Um, it would be nice now to see kind of variations in that. Uh, guns mounted in free mode are go forward rear, that's brilliant, don't have to rotate them anymore as much, hopefully. Um, fixed issues with the boats, auto-design improvements, again, I'll keep an eye on what the AI produces. 
Uh, AI improvement, um, they're still trying to um, improve the um, divisions and station keeping and stuff like that. Um, and uh, this bug, which I know Stealth has definitely seen, um, and I, I've seen it once or twice, where ships on scout or screen will stop, <laughs> like come to a full stop and just sit there, they, they fix that, which is nice to see. There's a new Naval Academy mission, uh, which will be drying out as soon as possible, um, and it just, just some other things. Like the Naval Academy difficulty options are gone, um, because, I mean, they were never a thing in the first place, so... Uh, but they're, they're gone, they might come back later. Um, and, of course, due to the various fixes, if you have save design for Naval Academy, they are now non-functional, which is which is fine. Um, so there we go. There, there's all the new stuff. Uh, I will very quickly uh, show off the new um, hulls for the British, so you can see what I'm talking about. So we have the Modern Battleship 2, um, I'm just going to get the AI to auto design and let's see the auto design feature. Um, I really like these new towers. Wow, funnels much. Good lord. Okay, the AI is having a having a day. But um, this this one is the one that can fit the enormous um, 20 inch guns. What did it fit? There we go, 20 inch guns. So this, this one's gone for six. Uh, new secondary designs. I'm not sure about the triples, but the double version of that five inch gun. Um, let's just stick one in somewhere. It will let me. Um, no, but the, the, I think the double one personally looks really good. I don't know what that gun's supposed to be doing. Um, but as well, if you get a British Mark V gun, like this 12 inch here, you see it has this kind of darker gray bit on top. You can fit a two inch triple gun on the top, um, which is very interesting. Uh, and whilst the arc says it's you know just forwards, I'm assuming it goes with the turret. So if the turret can go all the way to here, that secondary gun basically has a 360 degree field of fire, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, we've got the modern battleship uh, two, which is the one that can fit the 20 inch guns. The modern battleship one, which has a maximum of eighteen. The modernized dreadnought, which has the issue with can have issues with the towers kind of poking out in weird ways. By the way, these lights uh, hide the secondary mount. So if the if you don't put a secondary mount on, it just puts a searchlight on, which I think is a really nice little visual feature so that even if you don't fit secondary guns to your ship, um, it still looks... It doesn't look like you're missing a gun, basically. Um, we also have the new Super Battle Cruiser, which I was mildly disappointed to see only fits 18-inch guns. Um, so you can't, you can't do truly insane things like 20-inch on Battle Cruisers, but maybe they'll get surprises with the Super Battle Cruiser too. Um, the modernized battle cruiser. This is the the hood, but with um, new stuff for it. Basically, um, new secondary towers. By the way, are huge. some of them are huge, like this one, which kind of has the the bit for. A, this is where that you would put a plane, but obviously UAD doesn't have one. So, you know that. But you also get this compact one, which I'm very interested by, and you can fit funnels on the top. Um, so you can get quite a nice compact design. I'm really excited to try that out. Um, the large cruiser I was talking about, very nice. Uh, and two new heavy cruisers, which come with um, the towers that look like the bigger ships. Um, and this one as well. Uh, although you, you, you've got quite a few options. When you, like you can have these, again, you can have that kind of compact design if you want. So, lots of new stuff uh, for the British. Very, very exciting. Um, big update uh, for people like me who, um, you know, pretty much made every ship possible. Um, I'm definitely going to be trying these out. Um, quite a few of my videos will still be coming out on Alpha 10 because, I mean, they're recorded and they're in the upload schedule. But 
Um, uh, I will try and get some Alpha 11 content out to you very, very soon. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye-bye.